And for the last 43 years, the New Mexico Candle Company has provided the community with high quality and unique candles, including green and red chili candles. Perfect gifts for the holidays if you're needing a last minute one. Here with more on the New Mexico Candle Company and how to actually make your own candles at home is owner Heather Cardenas. Did I see that right? Cardenas, Cardenas. yes. Cardenas, okay. Um, so before we get into the fun stuff, tell me a little bit about the company. So it is, you own it, yes, I right? Yes, and how long have you owned this? I've owned the company about four and a half years, but it was started in 1971 out in Rio Rancho. Wow. It's been locally owned ever since. Okay. Um, basically, I was a high school math teacher. Yeah. I found a little candle making kit. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be really cool. I started making candles out of my house and started wow. an internet company. Yeah. My husband found this company for sale, mm -hmm. and through the love and support of my family, I. Yeah. grabbed it and have been living my dream. I know, and now it's a hey. Okay, and so you said four and a half years you've owned it, but it's been around for a while. Yes. And kind of a family thing too, right? It is. Um, I run the company with my mother. Okay. Um, she, I couldn't do it without her. Yeah. And, uh, and then my sister-in-law runs our second location in Old Town right now, so okay. yeah, it's it's all run and done by family, so awesome. even my kids are in it, so they help out too. <laughs> I love that. Family oriented, I love it. Tell me a little bit about the locations. You have two? I do. Okay. We have our main location is on Montgomery. It's at 7400 Montgomery. Okay. And in that location, you can actually see us making the candles. Um, so wow. we have our whole work area there. Okay. And then we have our second location, which is at 413 Romero Street, which okay. is in Old Town. Okay. So the first one's a little bit northeast. And yeah. One, okay. Gotcha. I like it. Okay. Let's get started because these actually smell amazing. You have red and green chili candles? We do. We have red and green chili candles. Okay. Um, just to give you a little history on this, the way that we had the red and green chili developed is uh -huh. we actually had a chemist at one of our fragrance companies um, mm -hmm. make the fragrance for us. So you'll see these at other places because we do wholesale to other companies, mm -hmm. but um, we actually had it developed just for us. Okay. So we actually mix the fragrance oil with the candles itself, and then we sprinkle real red and green chili flake on top for decoration. I love that. So these are the ones you're talking about. Right. These, we also make them in pottery bowls and travel tins. Uh, mugs, margarita glasses, all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> Those, that is my kind of stocking stuff. <laughs> yep. I love this one too that you said this was in like a These clay. are called sand cast candles and okay. that's how the company was made. Mm -hmm. And what it is is you take wet sand, you punch a hole down in it to make the shape, pour the wax in and it creates a crust of dirt around the outside. Then we hand carve the designs into them, mm -hmm. and so each one is unique. No two are exactly alike, and then we put all the finishing touches. That's Start to finish, it takes about five to seven days to make one of those candles. Wow, and how much would that run you? This one right here starts at twenty-four ninety-five. Okay, very cool. And we're actually, you said we could make these at home too, right? Well, I'm going to show you some cool candles you can make at home with your kids, so something really fun. Okay, let's do it. Where do we start? Okay, first of all, you're going to need wax. You can get this at any hobby store, so like Michael's Hobby Lobby. Okay. You're going to need pre-tabbed wicks like these. And you can also get Again, those Again, hobby store? craft store. Okay. Um, thermometer, candy thermometer. Gotcha. A mixing spoon, some crayons, some Dixie cups, and a pour pot. Okay, got okay. it. So we're going to take our wax, chunk it up, put it into your pour pot. Okay. You want to heat it up. You can heat it directly on your stove, mm -hmm. but you want to make sure you keep an eye on it. Yeah. It can flame up, so be very, very careful. Okay, good to know. Okay. How kiddos, mom and dad need, right. need them around. Need a, you need a parent around. <laughs> okay. With your thermometer in there, you want to heat it to 165 degrees. Wow, okay. That is what temperature that you pour your candles at. Okay. From there, you want to take your crayons any color that you want, and you're going to shave a little bit of your crayon in there to add your coloring. Oh, so okay. Just a little With bit. With like a knife or yeah, something? Yeah, just take okay. a little knife, or you can break little pieces off. Okay. That's how you're going to get your color. So they could be any color you Any want. color you want. Oh my goodness, okay. I love that. Okay. You're limited by your crayon color. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. I mean, the way Crayola's going too, you can do anything you want. At the point where your wax is melted, you mm. can also add uh, candle fragrance if you want. So you can okay. make these smell wonderful. You can get those at any hobby store too. Okay. Once. Whoop. Ooh. I got gotcha. you. Throwing stuff. No, that's all right. <laughs> Once your can your wax is melted, mm -hmm. you're gonna take your melted wax and you're just gonna pour it into your Dixie cups. Okay, so you can kind of do the sizes too if you want like a little one. Right. You don't have to pour as much into it. Then once you've got your wax in there, you're going to take your pre-tabbed wick 
just stick it into the middle and let it cool. Gotcha. How long do they have to cool for? Now, you're going to let these set for about a couple of hours. Okay. But after about half an hour or so, mm -hmm. you want to go check on it and just tug that wick into the middle so it's Make nice sure it's and center. centered. Okay. Now, you will have to refill it because wax concaves as it cools. Okay. So you'll have to re-pour this to one time. Flat. So you just heat your wax back up to 165 degrees, okay. top it off, and then yeah. you're done. Now, once you've got a finished candle, this one's already been poured mm -hmm. and re-poured, you can just rip the Dixie cup. Oh my makes gosh, Makes a little mess. So easy. And there you've you have got it. a finished candle. Oh. Now you can do several different colors. Mm -hmm to layer your colors to make these really pretty. You can take your Dixie cup, do one color and tilt it as it cools oh and then put the yeah. other color in so you get nice lines. The possibilities are endless right. with this and so easy too. You can also take acrylic paints mm -hmm. and paint your candles afterwards. So you could put flowers on here, yeah. you could put Christmas trees, okay. you could do anything you wanted to these. I love that. And you can sprinkle some of the uh, chili you were saying on top too. Right. And then just heat the tops to make it stick. Very cool. And tell me, tell us again one more time of where you guys are located if you're like, I don't know about that. I want to buy the ones that she makes <laughs> because they're way better. Where are you guys located? Two locations, 7400 Montgomery and 413 Romero Street. Awesome. Heather, thank you so much for showing this. These are Thank awesome. You. I love it. All right, for a recap of how to make your own candles at home and more on New Mexico Candle Company, go to krqe.com. We'll have a link posted there. We'll be back in a bit.